I already hate this so much. Dog, I couldn't even make it through the trailer. How am I gonna get through an hour and a half? Trailer's two minutes. I couldn't even get through one full minute of the trailer. Oh no. <laughs> Hello troublemakers and welcome back to another movie commentary Monday. Last week I asked you guys to recommend me bad movies. Because when I started the series it was until I hate myself where I'd watch things just until you know I couldn't stomach it anymore. So I'm watching intentionally bad things and I wanted to get back to my roots. Kind of forgot that my roots were awful. <laughs> For me at least. I think it makes good content where I just roast the living hell out of something. But I have to literally sit through an hour and a half of a bad movie and then on top of that go and edit the whole thing. Which is like another, I don't know, 15, 25 hours, somewhere in that range. So I had to live with this movie for more than one full day. Yikes. Alright man, what do we gotta lose? Besides my sanity. And my taste. And my reputation. Okay, there's a lot at stake here. This movie could literally be the downfall of my channel. <laughs> I think the very worst thing about this whole thing is the fact that I literally have to pay to see this thing that I hate. It's tagged as family, like this movie's for the whole family. But I would argue it's the opposite. Watching this movie is gonna make me wanna never have kids and bring them into a world where this movie exists. <laughs> this isn't family, this is anti-family. Jesus, dog. Fucking yeah. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? This is what they put in front of like blockbuster movies. This high quality Lionsgate animation. Why is that in front of brats? Dog, that's what you put in front of like a Harry Potter or some shit, you know? I'm so into this already. Okay, that, look at that font. I am out of this. You picked the worst font. <laughs> Dog, these are not movie fonts. No, and it's pink. Yeah, yike. That's a big yikes. That's a triple yikes. Ew. How old are you, dog? How big is that alarm? That's bigger than your fucking head. I have never seen an alarm clock that big in my life. Also, how old are you? <laughs> Fuzzy boots? Girl, how old? Why is there fuzzies on your lamp too? Grow the f Oh my god. Grow up, girl. Oh, that. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> this girl is an adult. Not, not, not her. This girl's an adult. She's got like a globe and shit, a telescope. My favorite character right here. Miss Sports Girl. I'm at my dad's house. Join custody. What can I say? Uh oh, complex family dynamic? What is this? <laughs> Could this movie actually have depth? You have a seat dog. You have a secret room inside your closet and what's in there a sewing machine Do you keep like an eight-year-old child worker like sewing you up Nikes and shit? Why would you have why would that be secret? Why would that be a secret room and your parents built the fucking house? Did they not know about the room? Is it like a Narnia to them? You just pull on a shoe and a dog Adios. Sayonara. Tasvi Daniel. Ciao, my sisters. I hate this. Oh. Buenos dias. Bro, why is there an entire mariachi band in her house? Look, our movie has culture. There's a mariachi band. <laughs> Chocolate. Doing business with you. Where are you putting that chocolate, girl? It's gonna melt. You're gonna have brown titties. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> What would I do without you? Are you that fucking stupid? You don't know how to operate- Her dad doesn't know how to operate a toaster and he has an earring. Dog, you- You've been making some poor choices. Hi, Mom. Hi. Did your dad give you breakfast? Oh, he's not having it for his ex-wife. Why can't the two of you just talk to each other? I bet they end up back together. They're getting back together by the end of this. <laughs> Fuck, I hate that I already know that that's going to happen for a fact. It's not like... Oh yeah, this reminds me of my first day of high school where entire bands just fucking played in the parking lot coming into school. Let me look at you before you go. You have Natlips, Science Club, Human, and Violin. Mom! Overbearing Asian parent who expects too much of her child. We really going for the stereotypes, huh? Wait, wait, so the black girl 
has a broken up family. The Asian mom expects her child to do so much academically. The Hispanic girl has a mariachi band in her kitchen when she wakes up. What are we missing? What was the what was the other one? She's here. Oh, and then a white girl who <laughs> is Sharpay to a T. Pink fucking bike. It's a big school. It's the first day. We're just freshmen. Why are there multiple mimes? Okay. Now together. There was two. I don't Watch this. Loners. No, no. Okay, so there's one there, right here, in the stripes. Loners, but they like to hang out and together. Then there's two. There's two mimes. How? How many mimes? Who dresses as a mime on your first day of school? Where is this? And how? How old is this man? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I gotta stop pausing. This is prolonging this movie. <laughs> Four freshman girls just take the world by storm. Oh no, they did not just walk past us without checking. Shut your fucking mouth and never open it again. Are you in the right room? <laughs> you couldn't possibly like science. You have hair extensions. <laughs> oh, she's a genius. She's a hot genius. Cause why wouldn't she be? Bye! <laughs> yeah, because that's how science works. You are seriously superior. We would be honored to have you as a member of our- You are so much smarter than the rest of us. We would be honored to have you in our club. Would you like to join our club? Falcon, let's go Falcon! Let's oh, she's gonna revolutionize the dance team. Or the cheerleading squad. You've got something better? Oh, <laughs> you know I do. Where did they get these cast members, dog? So bring it. Girl, I brought it, nailed it, lent it to my friend's kid sister, and I brought it back while you were still figuring out the beat. What? Uh, is she a sports legend? I hate that they're all fucking prodigies. <laughs> that was so unnecessary. That was so clearly not the actress. <laughs> Scare her face if you're gonna give her a stunt double. Yes! What'd she say? Bad for Ricky. Fact, not bad at all. Not bad. Okay. I can't believe I, re I rebound for that. I literally made this movie five seconds longer, and I hate myself for it. It's very you. Why is th there's been like eight montages in the first 10 minutes? They've had more montages in this first 15 minutes than any movie has ever had in their entire movie. Oh. Oh. Why don't you watch where you're going? Are you blind? No, but I'm deaf. What? Oh, yikes. I'm deaf. You don't sound deaf. <laughs> you, well, you don't look ignorant, but I guess you can't judge a book, right? What a bitch. <laughs> What's this music? Wow, wow, really drive it home. Like, that was like the biggest mistake of her life. Yo, Chloe! Girl, come check this out. That is the world's smallest jersey. Dog, did you get her a kid size? <laughs> what is this jersey? That's not go fitter. I have journalism. How about tomorrow? Yeah. The movie is moving at a lightning pace. I feel like I've been watching this for an hour and a half already. It's been 18 minutes. What are you doing here? We were supposed to go shopping together. Oh. Remember? Remember? The script? Can we do it next week? Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. you're the best. Mad double chin dog. Sure. <laughs> Two what? What the fuck? Two year? What is this time jump? Okay, this movie's got me hooked now. What the fuck? <laughs> Two years? They're all separate and now they're coming back together. Okay. I won't be late to school. It's cause I really care about it. I will play. Are the lyrics of the song, I won't be late to school because I really care about it? Okay, well, that's clearly not the actress. Do you need a stunt double to ride a moped? Jesus, dog. How hard is it to learn to ride a moped? They really put no efforts. They gave no fucks on this movie. I don't blame them. That girl looks like a budget Brie Larson. <laughs> Why are they playing so many fucking songs? Dog, we're 22 minutes in. This has got to be the seventh song. And I'm not joking. I think this is song number seven. Who fucking is this rich? Whose house? Oh, it's the... Her dad's the principal? And she's this rich? How well do principals get paid? Her mom must be the breadwinner. 
What kind of like super successful woman has ever married a principal? Oh, fine, chill. Whoa, dog. Oh, he's the deaf kid. All this time, I thought you were just some cool jock. <laughs> Dylan. Dude, stop with the fucking music. Establish the scene and your characters before you start with the dramatic music. All this time, I just thought you were a jock. Didn't know you had emotions. I don't even know who these people are. Allow me to stereotype them, and then you can call the stereotypes out. You have to show me that he's he's a jock. What has he done to be a jock? He's deaf? Oh yeah, because all deaf people are jocks. The vibrations. I can feel that I'm a neck. <laughs> what? He's gonna be a deaf DJ? He doesn't know what he's playing. He just knows how they vibrate. He knows when there's bass, but there's more to being a DJ than... No, there's not, actually. He could conceivably do it. Just play songs with a lot of bass. <laughs> I'm Chloe. Uh, I'm Cameron. Yeah, I know. Please don't fall and throw your tray. Movie, I will forgive a lot of your sins if she does not fall and throw her tray upward. If she drops her tray, fine. I'll forgive that even. <laughs> Hey! Oh, oh no. Oh, I did that on purpose. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. dies kill one of the girls please no smash their skull in please oh my god detention oh no why are you standing on the fucking table back there can you explain what you're doing up there daddy's bank account only because you don't have a dad or a bank account stop it you don't have a dad did you just hit her with that what happened to us oh we how a team. We dude all this is like how are we only a third of the way through this? I feel like I've experienced- This is the whole movie. The friends conquered high school. They grew apart. And now they're coming back together. They're resolving their differences two years later. H how is the movie not over after this? What are we- What is left? BFFs! <laughs> I can't stand to look at this. How I feel about the movie. <laughs> Hey, did you guys get it? They're Hispanic. Did you guys forget? Because they're Hispanic. <laughs> Sasha, Jade, and Chloe, we're a team again. How can none of these girls act? Gorgeous new shoes. Why do you keep putting shoes in brown paper bags? They come in a sh fucking shoebox. Just give her the shoebox. Why did you take them out of a shoebox and put them into a brown paper bag? It's a thing in your life that you're really amazing at, but you hide it from the world, so people will think- She's probably the best actress of the four. I'll give her credit. Dylan, are you kidding Don't me? Don't say my name. He hates me. I do hate you. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Why couldn't they be in unison? They're bot- <laughs> Why are they- why are they bobbing in opposite di- <laughs> Why are they bobbing in such opposite directions? <laughs> Bro, get your- <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Yo, Chloe, come do it! Does she not speak? Does she have a quota for how many lines she can have in this movie and she already hit that- that quota? He's like the anime kid. <laughs> I had the power of God and anime on my side. I had the power of God and anime on my side. Wait, you uh, six. Plus an extra point. One. Plus a safety. Two. Plus three. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. She literally had to teach them. Six plus one plus two divided by three. She literally had to teach them. Nine divided by three. I get it. Football players might not be the smartest. They're not the brightest bulbs. 
but fuck. Oh, I hate this guy. I hate this guy so much and I don't know why. I think it's his hair. Power comes from your core. Like, yo, she's like a soccer legend. She's like a super prodigy and he's teaching her how to kick a soccer ball. He gets hit in the balls. I can't afford to buy anything new. You guys need to go without me. I mean it. I have two guilt certificates. One for my mom and one for my dad. And now... What the fuck is a guilt certificate? Divorce isn't all that bad. Divorce isn't all that bad because your parents will give you money to buy your love and affection. Yeah! What the fuck is a guilt certificate? Did they hand it to you saying, this is a guilt certificate, if I ever do something bad, you just spend this and love me again? Dog, you are terrible parents. Don't go. If we can- And they don't give this soccer girl any lines. Then trust me, it's not worth it. Yes! Why does she not speak? Say but something! I take the risk. Okay. Say something! I hear you. It's just- Say speak! Imagine how I will be open eyes. Are we gonna act like this guy is fucking daredevil and he can just touch things and just know like this like how they would sound? That's not how it works. That's not how sound works. Just because you can feel a vibration doesn't mean you know how the sound is. Mom? Wait, what the fuck? She's talking! Mom? Did okay? she OD? Oh! <gasps> You're burning up! Oh fuck. Oh she's high. She's high on crack. Look how pale she is. This woman is an addict. Okay. A couple hours. Yo, she is erratic. Duh, she is not. It's not a fever. That is a withdrawal. Oh, God. <sighs> Mom, what's wrong? It's her dealer. <laughs> I never leave home without it. Are they really That's gonna. Makeup kit. What? They're gonna turn into sexy clowns? This is probably the weirdest montage I've ever seen. Four clowns giving each other makeovers. Isn't this amazing? She's riding in on an elephant? Your dad's a principal. How did you import a fucking elephant to your party? I wouldn't want to have to fire your mother. Yeah. Again. How would she support her drug addiction? <laughs> Scene? You're a very beautiful girl, uh, Cupcake. You're a good dad. Thank you, uh, Jellybean. Sure. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that scene? D can we just recap that whole scene? We got this energizing parties going on. The song starts to fade. We get a shot of the dad and the daughter by themselves. And as the first song's fading, the second song fades up, and it's like a dramatic. We're gonna get a seminal emotional moment here. Beautiful and then he's girl, like, uh, you look great, okay. even though you're dressed and as a clown. you look cute as a button tonight, don't let anyone kid you. You're a good dad. And then she's like, you're a good dad. Because he's like, you look good as a clown. Her dad says that to her. And she's like, you're a good dad. And the Thank scene's you, over. Jellybean. Thank you. And the scene's over. You gotta build characters. You can't just throw shit around like this. <laughs> She falls into the pool. <laughs> okay. At least she didn't fall into it. Thank you. Crush her to death! Yes! Oh. That, honestly, that brought so much joy into my life. The idea of an elephant crushing her to death on camera. It kind of makes me worry. Like, there's like a dark part of my heart. And that scares me a little bit. But at the same time, that was the most exhilaration I've felt in really a long time. So you're saying if I'm not a part of your clique, I'm off the squad? Think about it. You either need to spend more time with us, or we need to cut you from the roster. How does that make any sense? I'm afraid that's not up to me. We had real chemistry, Jay. Shut the fuck up. I want to punch that dude so hard. We had a real chemistry. Get it? Because we both like science. Fuck you, bro! <laughs> the winner gets a scholarship. Know anyone who might need that? Chloe. Why would she need a scholarship? Oh, because the mom spent all the money on drugs. Oh, well, if it isn't the brats. Brats! Brats! How do 
did you get that throaty? Fuck, that hurt my throat saying it. Okay, guys. Why is there more mimes? What is this director's obsession with mimes? Put aside all your differences and made it work. Maybe one day you and mom will do the same thing. Yeah, maybe. Shh. I'm dropping out of the town show. And Yasmin, delete my number from your cell phone, okay? Mine too. Yeah. Delete my number? Do they not friends again? How do you pack the same plot into this one movie twice? You literally did this plot one time, and then you fixed it, and you're like, ah, let's just do it again. Why aren't you girls getting ready? She looks high as shit. Look at her hair. She's high. Maybe something's wrong with her. Maybe she needs to try some crack. <laughs> I have something to tell you guys. Look out your window. What the fuck? It's like High School Musical. <laughs> That's how they resolved it. Trey Bolton came to her window. Yeah, I got enough exercise. Just pushing my luck. <laughs> I want to beat the fuck out of this kid. No, it's not about me. <laughs> Appalled father. No, it's not about me. <laughs> Why does this movie have to end with a fucking performance? Why can't it just end like a normal movie? Girls signed up. They deserve the right to perform. He's right. Oh, please. I know the rules, but thanks anyway. Wait, that's how the mom and dad get back together? He's right. Oh, He's please. right. Wait a second. You disagree with me? I'm so attracted to you once more. This one's for you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. That was horrible. We got that, we got that gratitude. Bad, I hate yeah. you Come so on. much. Everyone who recommended this movie... Fuck you. <laughs> they say my friend too. It's just an attitude to the world today. Mariachi, <laughs> what are you doing? You can't just play from the crowd. That's not how performances work. I sneezed everywhere. <laughs> Mimes, stop. <laughs> I'm feeling a pain in the right side of my body. I might be having a heart attack. My heart's just giving out. They never work out their differences. No, don't kiss him. And the winner is, it's a tie. I'd like to present the golden hatchet to uh, Meredith Baxter Dimley. The scholarship goes to the uh, brat. <laughs> How does that work? So the winner of the talent show gets a scholarship, but since it's a tie, the principles it's like all right well one team gets a scholarship the other gets a fucking hatchet it's a fair trade like sixty thousand dollars worth of scholarship a fucking unusable hatchet vice president mtv networks <laughs> great show why does mtv executive <laughs> wearing sunglasses indoors just the classic i'm a business executive i gotta take my sunglasses off you four girls, whoa. You have got Superstar written all over you. Hey, we're having the movie premiere next Saturday night. How would you girls like to be the featured act on the red carpet? The words, uh, duh. Fantastic. <laughs> Fuck you. Two words, duh, I. Come back to life, Hart. I don't feel it beating anymore, guys. This movie, this movie killed me. What's this now? <laughs> What is this? What the fuck am I watching? Where are the other girls? Yo, where are the other girls? Is she brats now? What is this? What am I watching? Dog, where are the other girls? <laughs> Did she go solo? Where'd the fucking kids come from? I don't care. I don't care. Are we done? Thank God that is over until I hate myself. We need a new title for this series. Cause I hit that moment, <laughs> like it was like four minutes in and I was there. All right, so fuck this movie. Fuck everyone associated with it. Normally when I finish a movie, I feel the need to like talk about a couple of things, whether it be things I liked, things I hated. This movie, I've forgotten it. I literally ejected it from my brain. I don't remember anything that happened in this movie. I'm being serious right now. If you asked me what happened in this movie, I would not be able to tell you. All I remember is there was a curly hair guy and a deaf guy. I don't recall a single fucking thing that happened. They, they played music. 
<laughs> Yo, this is like a superpower. I think this movie like traumatized me so deeply that I've literally repressed it after it happened. Am I sure I watched this movie? <laughs> Last week I asked for recommendations, you guys came through by delivering this awful, awful, awful movie. I'll go back to the list of movies that I have. Don't recommend, don't recommend. Let me just be clear, do not recommend. Even last week, I wanted to know like what jokes you guys like best and things about the movie and my commentary. Anything you guys had to say, but there weren't any like comments like that because everyone was just recommending things. Because I asked for it, obviously. It's, that one's on Dylan, but yeah. Tell me, tell me your favorite joke of the video. Just say the Bratz movie. That's the best joke. <laughs> just the whole movie. Yeah, I like knowing what you guys liked about my video though. So yeah, head down to the comment section, tell me something. You know I love you guys and I will see you next week.